Hello, I'm Lan Zhao, a postdoc from Stanford University. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to present our research work on the red microbial body map across 11 tissue types and the four developmental stages. This is the outline of the presentation. I will introduce the human microbiome project and the two pan-cancer microbiome projects in the background section. Next, I will give you an overview of the current project. Our lab is mainly a wet lab, which uses animal models in mice and rats to identify biomarkers that drive lung diseases. I'm a bioinformatician working on microbiome-related projects. So in this study, I reanalyzed a red transcriptome dataset in order to identify microbial signatures associated with different tissues and the developmental stages. Next, I will present our results. Finally, other conclusions. Human Microbiome Project, HMP, is a 10-year program divided into two phases. HMP1 and HMP2. The HMP1 study of healthy individuals, which focus on the characterization of microbial communities that live in and on our bodies. The HMP2 expanded the initial findings to three longitudinal cohort studies, including preterm birth inflammatory bowel diseases, and pre-diabetes. Next are the two pan-cancer microbiome projects. University of California, San Diego published this paper in Nature. They identified microbial signatures for cancer diagnosis. However, the signatures were at the genus level and they didn't investigate the intratumor microbial heterogeneity. In order to fill the gap and identify species level signatures, we carried out a pan cancer microbiome project and reported the general pipeline included in our analyze. In the following, we applied a similar approaches to investigate the red intertissue microbial heterogeneity. This is the objective of the current project. We want to identify core and transit microbial species in healthy red, just as the HMP1 did previously. We also want to determine and compare microbial profiles of different tissue types in four developmental stages. Finally, we want to identify red microbiome interaction patterns and signatures. This is the red transcriptome dataset we used in our study. Data was generated by the Sequencing Quality Control Consortium, a total of 660 samples were collected from 32 healthy rats. There were four females and four males in each organ and age groups with two to four technical replicates. This table better summarized the sample sizes in each group. The original authors investigated the red transcriptomic landscapes based on the mapped sequencing data. We expanded to explore unmapped reads as well, and we analyzed this dataset using our own pipelines. We studied from the raw fast Q file. After initial quality control. Sequencing data was mapped to the rat genome using STAR. Unmapped reads were subsequently extracted and uh, cracked to 
was used to do microbial taxonomic classification. This is a more detailed workflow to track and compare the steps between our study and the previous works after mapping and quality controls. About 6% of the total rates were unmapped and considered to be the microbial data. We used unsupervised matrix factorization and hybrid machine learning approaches to identify microbial patterns and pattern-enriched signatures. The mapped race was used for gene set enrichment and immune cell enrichment analysis in order to characterization of the identified microbial patterns. We identified a total of 19 core microbial species in this data set. Here, core species means a group of species that are shared by all samples. There were two gamma retrovirus in this list, and many publications have reported the presence of these two viruses occurring in red tumors and normal tissues. The remaining species are basically environmental microbes acquired from the food, water, and the soil. This heat map shows the abundance of the 19 species in the, three, in the 660 samples. The column represents the samples, and the rows are the species. The red color indicates higher abundance, and the blue represents lower abundances. In the middle of the heat map, we can see a pattern with lower microbial abundances in some samples. These are a subset of samples that come from liver, muscle, and kidney, indicating the existence of the microbial inter-tissue heterogeneity in rats. Next, we used the 1% microbial prevalence as the threshold for species presence in rat organs, which helped identify 4,647 species for the downstream analyze. The table listed the top 12 phylum ranked by population sizes. And the bar plot shows the relative abundances of the top 12 phylum in 11 red tissue types, firmicutes and uh, proteobacteria are the two most uh, abundant and uh, diverse phylum of all samples. Beta diversity is to access how different sample communities vary against each other. From this three-dimensional real principle coordinates analyze PCOA plots, we can see that the lung samples showed notable separation from other tissues in the juvenile, adolescent, and adult stages, but the separation was not visible in the elderly lungs. In order to identify related species involved in this process, we performed the microbial differential abundance analysis from lung versus other organ comparison. We obtained 92 lung specific species. Similarly, 30 species were identified from the lung elderly versus lung young plus lung adult comparison. The overlapped 16 species between these two comparisons were considered to be the signatures 
that to drive the elderly lung microbiome in rats. This table listed the 16 differentially enriched species in lungs. Uh, from the log2 photo change, we can see the lactobacillus species was significantly down-regulated in the elderly lungs. This species was considered to be the good bacteria. And uh, uh, we can also say the viral pathogens were significantly overrepresented in the elderly group compared to the younger lungs. We next performed the inter-tissue correlation analysis based on the presence and absence of sets of species in each tissue. The area of the dots were proportional to their Spearman correlation coefficients, and the color indicated the strength of the correlation, red for positive and blue for negative correlations. Positive correlations can be seen between liver, muscle, and the kidney microbiome. Strong negative correlations between lung and other tissues can be seen in the juvenile, adolescent, and the adult stages. The negative correlations were significantly weakened in the elderly lung. This agrees well with our previous results based on PCOA analysis. We used the unsupervised matrix factorization and the machine learning approaches to identify rat microbiome interaction patterns. In this microbial abundance heat map, rows are the microbial signatures and the columns are the samples. We can see four distinct and well-separated rat microbiome interaction patterns from P1 to P4 in this heat map. And also the separation was very distinct observed from this PCOA plot. The table below the heat map is a contingency table for tissue distribution of the four patterns. Very limited liver and the muscle samples were in the P1 pattern. Instead, they were grouped into the P2. P3 is dominated by lung samples, and uh, no lung samples were in the P4 pattern. No significant enrichment can be seen for developmental stages distribution of the four patterns. This bar plot shows the taxa abundances in the four patterns, which uh, also agrees well with our previous results. In the meantime, we identified a total of 3,000 and uh, 62 microbial signatures for the four patterns, with the majority of them belonging to the bacterial kingdom. The signatures largely come from the proteobacteria and the formulates. And uh, we can see the clear separation among the four microbial communities. While still in the middle of investigating these species, and trying to validate our results using independent rat datasets. So uh, finally, uh, our conclusion, rat microbiome is mostly composed by two dominant bacteria phylum, formulates and uh, proteobacteria. We can see positive correlations between liver, muscle, and kidney microbiomes. The lung microbiome 
show the distinct separation from other tissues and uh, shifted significantly at uh, different developmental stages. And finally, we identified four rat microbiome interaction patterns. So thank you so much for your attention.